Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new predictions video. We've got No Mercy coming up in three days and we're back again to give you guys my opinions on what's going to happen at No Mercy. Uh, most of these will be wrong uh, and hopefully I can get a couple of these right, but who knows. Again guys, drop me all your predictions in the comments of what you think is going to happen at No Mercy. Give me your winners, your losers. If you think there's going to be some returns, some heel turns, some face turns. If you think The Undertaker is going to return this Sunday at No Mercy, then let me know. Spoiler alert, he probably won't. Um, that's just me. But yeah, if he does, then I'll be wrong. Um, let's start off with uh, with a match that a lot of people have got issues with, and that is Neville versus Enzo More. And the fact that Enzo More is just not credible in that number one contender role, and um, I do like Enzo, I'm a fan of Enzo, um, just because, yeah, he, he can irritate you, and he was when he was uh, uh, with Big Cass at one moment, when they was, you know, he was just coming out, and being pretty much a heel when he was meant to be a babyface, but I, I don't mind him, I know he's got a lot of, uh, a lot of heat on him right now backstage, and with, with everyone pretty much. So I got a, I, got, I kind of feel for him, you know. He's probably he's probably his own fault, his were his own worst enemy. But I do feel for him, and I think he's good on the mic. I think he'll sell merchandise. I think he, I think I think Enzo, I think Enzo is pretty decent. But all of that said and done, he's been made to look like a joke recently, and that's why my winner for this match is Neville. Neville will retain Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt, a feud I haven't really been interested in at all until this whole Dustin Rhodes thing on uh, on Raw, which was like, oh, okay, that's a little, that's quite interesting, even though um, <clears throat> Goldust just had turned heel like the last month and uh, and was in a feud with our truth that ended just like that and apparently Goldust just was like face again. It doesn't make sense in that way. But I liked uh, I liked that it was just different and uh, and yeah, respect to Goldust. The man is a legend. He's like fifty years old and still wrestles quite frequently. And uh, yeah, man, respect to him. But yeah, my winner um, for this match, Bray Wyatt, Finn Balor. Um, again, neither of them have really got me into this feud. Um, Finn Balor, I, I I like Finn Balor. I think he's great in the ring. Um, but yeah, we've had this match twice now. We've had it on Raw once, Bray won, we had it on um, last, last, what was it, SummerSlam, and uh, and Finn won. So I'm going to go with, uh, yeah, I'll go with the Bray Wyatt win. I think Bray Wyatt needs it more than Finn Balor, and, uh, and with this whole thing that Bray's been going on with, like, the no face pain, the whole no demon, we're going to have normal Finn Balor, I think Bray will win it. I think Bray will win it. I'm not very confident on that, actually, but we'll, we'll go with Bray. Um, the next match I've got is, is a big one, and I want to keep it till, till the probably the last second-to-last one, actually. So we'll move on to The Miz versus Jason Jordan. Oh, I'm a big fan of The Miz. You guys know how much I love The Miz, and um, it's been rumoured that Jason Jordan's going to get a big push, you know, and then it kind of stopped. He got into a lot of some good matches with both Roman Reigns and Cena, and then he kind of stopped getting booed, and it looks like maybe the plans for his push have continued. So, that said, I don't want this to happen, and uh, I hope Miz retains. But my prediction is that Jason Jordan, a.k.a. KSI. <laughs> um, no, a.k.a. Um, nothing. But yeah, I'm going to go with Jason Jordan. I don't want this to happen, but yeah, I think that's the way it's going to go, unfortunately. We move on to Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks versus Bailey versus Nia Jax versus Emma for the Raw Women's Championship. So Bailey just got added to this match. Originally, it was Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks. Then Nia Jax and Emma were like, I want in this match. Fair enough, Nia Jax kind of deserved to be in the match because, um, well, she hasn't really got an opportunity and she was with Alexa and then kind of turned on Alexa, which was apparently what happened. And then next week they were just like nothing happened but anyway and then as I said Bailey returned and she just got straight into that match so no matter what I say here it's I'm not I'm not I'm not really sure and there's no like really predictable winner for me in this match but as long as they don't put the belt back on Bailey because I think that'd make no sense and it would just be stupid 
Um, I would, I would, who would I like to see here? Um, Alexa Bliss, I'd love to see retain. I would love to see Emma win the belt. That would be really cool. Um, oh, let's, let's do it this way. Who's not going to win? Well, Emma's not going to win. I don't think Nia Jax will win. I don't, <sighs> will it be Alexa? Yeah, Alexa's going to retain. That's my, that's my call. Alexa Bliss is retaining. She's retaining. Um, Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins versus Sheamus and Cesaro for the Raw Tag Team Champions. Um, yeah, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins are not my favourite tag team. They're not even close to my favourite tag team. They're not even, for me, some people I look forward to. I know they're both great wrestlers and I used to enjoy them a lot. It's just they have not really given me a big, big reason to get really like into them because yeah it's just been they've just they haven't done much recently you know like the whole shield reuniting which is not because there's no roman reigns and if the shield was to reunite then it's just not them two on their own that has nothing to do with the shield reuniting um so that's triggering me a little bit on that and uh and the fact that yeah they're just yeah like i prefer cesaro and sheamus as a comedy tag as a as a good tag as that sheamus and cesaro are just great you can give them whatever you want and they are just they're brilliant they're funny they're good heels they look good they wrestle good they talk good big fans big fans but that all said and done again dean ambrose and seth Rollins will probably win this match there who i'm going to predict i just want everyone to know that they're not my i'm not their biggest fans right now and probably they don't care and maybe some of you don't care but i just wanted to let you guys know that if there are some of you out there who are like oh, why does everyone like i i'm with you you're not on your own um i'm not i don't hate them because if they if they i know i could love them in a different role because they are both great wrestlers and great workers and and they're when they when they haven't got scripted promos and all promos are scripted you're going to tell me but when they manage to deliver a good promo and a good pro, a, a promo's written actually quite well instead of garbage um then then I can get into them but yeah not really recently but yeah Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins death I think will win now we move on to the match that I kind of uh, missed before because I wanted to keep this for the penultimate one, and that is John Cena versus Roman Reigns. They've been having amazing uh, segments on Raw the last couple weeks. The last one was just Roman on his own. Um, yeah, he did really well actually, and I think uh, I think I think it's good. I think it's good. I would have liked them to have maybe f maybe done some kind of thing where they would have actually, you know. I don't know, Roman Reigns, you spare Cena or, or something, give, get get some action into it instead of just talking for a month, building up to it, but, but it's not that bad, it's it's given amazing segments over the last couple of weeks, highlights of Raw's, um, and, uh, and I can't fault it for that, so they've actually made me want to see this match between Roman Reigns and John Cena, enough said, they've made me want to watch this match more than I want to see Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt, so for me, great great uh great wwe but who do i think is going to win well for me there's only one answer here and i've been going uh going go talking to a lot of people about this and a lot of people kind of have different opinions but the most common opinion and, and who people think are going to win is um is roman reigns because well he i suppose is the one who who kind of needs this win if it's the whole you know, John Cena is a part-timer and all the... It, it, Roman is who should win here, even though I'm not the biggest Roman fan. I can, I, I, I can see myself that he needs to get the win here. And Cena definitely does not need it. Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman. The match I'm looking forward to the most. But I could be... Excuse me, I could be looking forward to it even more if... I didn't have this horrible cloud over my head just telling like it's just it's just like I want to believe that Braun has a shot at this belt because I'm a huge fan of Braun Strowman the dude is awesome he's so so cool and um and I really want to see him win the belt because I think that'd be sick that's just me wishing for a lot there but I know Brock's gonna win this I've said for a while Brock's I know sorry I don't know Brock's gonna win this I strongly believe Brock's gonna win this um, so yeah, enough really said on this match. I just can't wait to see it. Uh, no mercy. I'm not going to talk to about it uh, to you guys about it for very long. 
because it's one of those things it's like, oh, who's going to know? It's either you, you're Brock or Braun, and uh, I want Braun to win, but I, 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 don't, I don't doubt Brock. Brock uh, Brock's going to hold the belt for a while, I think. So uh, for that reason, I'm going to go Brock Lesnar. If Braun wins, that'd be mental. Thank you guys for watching this video, for listening to my opinions, and hopefully not getting angry at who, you th who I think is going to win, or if I don't like certain wrestlers or not. Let me know in the comments who you think. Drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it and if you agree with some of my opinions. If you don't and completely disagree with my opinions, then whack it a dislike. Just, so, just let me know. You know, why not? That's what the like and dislikes are for. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys later on for a stream. Till then, take care and most importantly, stay cool. Peace out.